architects always look for software that combine ease of use, speed, and realistic renders to finish their projects. It is the last step of a hard and long process, but it can be the most important one. Some of the most known software for rendering are Lumion and V-Ray, so which one is better for rendering your projects? Lumion has shown a lot of progress in the past few years because, in the beginning, the quality of the renders was low and unrealistic, but still people used it because it is such an easy software to use and it guarantees fast results. Lumion is made only for rendering, not for modeling. It offers a rich library of all kinds of objects, especially external ones, and multiple kinds of textures, effects, and realistic environments like deserts, mountains, seas, and so on. It also gives you the possibility to render pictures, videos, or even 360-degree panorama pictures. The latest versions of Lumion are really good. The renders are so close to reality, and the quality of the object and textures is much better. And the sky is more realistic with new different options for day and night with stars. Animation also offers the same options with extra detail for people and movement of the objects in animation. It is more realistic now. V-Ray is a render engine that works as a plugin that can be integrated with 3D packages such as 3ds Max, SketchUp, Revit, and so on. It is known for its high performance in rendering work because it shows the texture and materials realistically in renders. Lighting is a very important element in rendering since it offers the users different kind of lighting, spots, IES lighting, dome, rectangular lights, and of course sunlight. Through Vera, you can actually control the resolution and the size of the image, and you can also make render tests with low resolution just to make sure that the textures, the lights, and the effects are in perfect harmony. Since V-Ray is integrated with modeling software, its configurations are not famous for being the simplest, but if you want to keep things very simple, you can. You can quickly add different materials to the scene, edit the resolution of the picture, parameters of lighting, and also you can compare the changes you made side by side by looking at different renders in side by side channels. There is also a small plate with several kinds of lighting, and finally a wide range of different render settings. One of the great options in Vray is having a high degree of control before and after the render. It is possible to add lighting, exposure, contrast, white balance, saturation and color balance, without necessarily using editing program for pictures. Which one is better for rendering? Those two pieces of software are made for the most part for rendering, not for modeling, but they are so different in many aspects. Lumion is a standalone software, but Vray is mostly used inside a 3D package. Lumion offers a large variety of objects and 3D elements like furniture, lights, trees, people, animals, and everything else you need in a scene. It was actually made and configured in the beginning for use in urban projects and for external renders. That's why if you want to create interior scenes, the library is not great in terms of interior elements and objects compared to the exterior one. Vera doesn't have a personal library of objects to use because you are expected to model the scenes yourself or import them from elsewhere. It works only with materials and lighting, but it is known for its high performance in terms of rendering interiors and exterior scenes. Another thing about Lumion is that it can work with different modeling software. It is possible to use 3D objects and scenes from SketchUp files, Revit, ARCHICAD, and so on, which is great because every architect or every office or firm uses different kind of 3D modeling software, but Vera can also be used with some architectural modeling packages such as SketchUp, 3ds Max, Rhino, and Revit. When it comes to configuration and settings, Lumion doesn't have the freedom and flexibility that Vray offers, because Vray nowadays is simpler than it used to be when you have to configure tons of options before rendering, but it can still be very complex and reach high levels of flexibility if you want that. Some of these configurations allow you to lower the noise by activating the denoiser, control the camera sensibility to the light, global illumination, and in secondary lights, and so on. On the other hand, Lumion doesn't offer these kinds of options. The render is automatic. It is possible to add effects and filters for more brightness or even cloudy weather filter if you want to show your project in winter, autumn, or summertime. Basically, the configurations that the two software offer will make the render look different depending on the needs of the project. Speed of rendering. As for timing, Lumion is generally speaking faster than V-Ray. 
one render might take between seconds to minutes, while in V-Ray the render time can be long especially if you want higher quality. And this is due to the fact that the render in Lumion is by default, while the one with V-Ray is personalized according to the needs of the user. Timing plays a big role in this work. Many architects work under pressure and they always look for a faster way to finish their work with good results and Lumion got this option too unlike V-Ray that takes more time to render. V-Ray has high performance in terms of interior and exterior rendering, lighting and editing interiors is much better using it, while Lumion shows amazing capabilities in exterior scenes. The Learning Curve what really makes Lumion a very famous render software is that it is not complicated to use, especially for architects who don't have time and the configuration is easy and anyone can work with it. The render is also very fast because it only takes few seconds or few minutes. Another important point, Lumion is considered a standalone software. It can render your images, videos and animations and even 360 degrees panorama pictures very easily. While V-Ray offers limited functionality in this regard because you are expected to do this yourself, which can take a little bit longer and can be harder as well. So if you don't have experience with 3D software, you can use Lumion to do your renders and animations and it will give you relatively good results because it contains a lot of things that can make the process of rendering scenes way easier. If you use V-Ray to render images and other software for modeling, animation and so on, the project will take longer and you will need actual experience to get the results you are looking for. In addition to this, V-Ray doesn't offer ready elements like sky, mountains or landscape. You have to edit yourself or make it using the modeling software. On the other hand, Lumion gives you the possibility to use already set up external elements like landscapes, deserts, seas and mountains. It even has buildings in case you like to add them next to your project for more realistic pictures. In terms of rendering settings, V-Ray can be hard or easy to work with depending on your level of experience. There are easy settings for beginners but you can always have fantastic flexibility with the options V-Ray offers. You can edit materials, textures, lighting and shadows, reflections, refractions and opacity. Both software are easy to work with in terms of configuration and editing for architects, but Lumion is way easier for architects to use or those who don't have experience with 3D modeling and rendering software. And when it comes to the interface, both software are simple to understand and work with as well. Licensing and Pricing Vera gives the option to buy a perpetual license or subscription that you pay for monthly or yearly. The monthly subscription is between $60 to $80 monthly or $350 to $470 yearly depending on the software you use. The perpetual license is also in the range of $700 to $800 depending on your 3D software. On the other hand, Lumion is far more expensive than V-Ray at the price of $1499 for the normal version that includes only one third of the content library with limited rendering effects and the pro version of Lumion basically costs $2999 with full library and full effects. After mentioning the pros and the cons of every software and after pointing out the power of each software, to conclude both software are strong in terms of rendering with some differences that depend on the architect's needs. But Lumion has some additional nice options and it has a rich integrated library full of different kinds of objects and it is also easier to work with compared to Vieri which is made for specialists and architects. But for highly realistic projects you want to use Vieri because it is very worth it. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.